All right, guys, we are back on the Sky Factory server, and these are some weird trees, Tim. Yes, they are. What's Brian, going on with these trees? Going. What is going on with these trees? These are just regular trees that we put those wonderful silkworms in, huh. and it turns everything white. Do you, have a, do you have a crook on you? I've got one. I don't. Go for it. All right, let's vein mine this sucker and see what happens. Oh, look at all that. Nice. And we have, oh, wow, look at that, 64 string. <laughs> that should be more than enough. That should be. That should be more than enough. What's really cool with this string that you can do is you make these wonderful little contraptions. So I'm going to show them the, what is that called, the ID, IED, what's that called? Uh, da, 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 NEI. NEI, thank you. So you can come in here and you can type anything you Here want. You Oops, I spelled it wrong. And so we're using uh, the oak and we had to make mesh silk. And so you can use these and then you do that and we'll make a sieve and you're throw you got it. You got all that or do you want me to? Uh, I, gave it, I gave it to you, I okay. threw it at you. So the cool thing is you can open it up to see the crafting recipe, but if you are on a crafting bench, you can actually do that. Oh, I need some items. I need to create them. I'm used to the, when we get there, the ME system just doing it for you. Yeah. That'll be nice. We'll get there, sir. <laughs> we will. Oops. That's what I'm doing wrong. So I got to create these. So I need two of them. And then, let's go ahead and do that. And bam, it automatically fills it out for you in the crafting table. So I can put it down here. Clear this out. So I could look at any of those things if I wanted to. But so let's go ahead and put the sieve down. Where do you want it? Oh, we've already got the, Um, Yeah, let's put it. Uh, we got plenty of room. <laughs> I made this a wall of barrels. Let's just put it right over here. Okay. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Right here. Cool. So now, here's the fun thing. I'm gonna do a couple of these real quick. How many, can I use all the dirt? Do or it. Do you need it? Okay. So you come over here, and you sift the dirt. You sieve the dirt, and you'll notice we got some stone, and the stone. Mm -hmm. Then you turn it into cobblestone. There's actually some seeds that you can get out of this as we go along, so we'll want to keep doing this because you get the wheat seeds and the sugarcane seeds and the carrot seeds, a bunch of different stuff. So we can eat the food. Eat all the food. All right, so let's turn all this into cobblestone. Sir, you wanted six? Yes, if you've got it. There you go. There's all of them. Yay. You mean keep going with the cobblestone? Uh, it is up to you. I think we've got what we need for the furnace for sure. Well, we'll need some of it, right, for the um, getting gravel and sand? Yes, we will. Okay. So this will be a bunch of a grind to get the cobblestone going for this, but no fear. We can do it. We can do it. So let's see what we got after. I, I think I had 24 dirt. So that's a good amount for this. At least the first round. Now you're not just make normally a uh, furnace is eight stone. Would you do normally this time? It's, normally it's eight stone. You make half slabs out of the cobblestone, and so then you just use instead of regular full stone, you use the half slabs in that same pattern. Nice. So you use you use less stone to do it. Nice. Economy style economy style <laughs> all right so i'm throwing off your sorting already um so then we got the gravel here the cobblestone here what we wanted not only we also ooh, we got potato seeds we got sugarcane seeds ooh. an acorn and a spruce oh i like spruce you like spruce i like spruce you can switch them out if you want I don't think spruce has apples. Oh, okay. So once we so get we'll, food going, we'll do that. Yeah, once we get food going, we'll we'll branch out to some other cool trees. We just need some stinking water. Yes, we do. Please rain. Yeah, no kidding. 
So I am making a weird configuration here. I'm making a hammer, a stone hammer. And what I'm going to do with this hammer is if I come over here, I make a whole section of this. Now this is super easy because a vein miner got it. You just hammer it and now we have gravel. Which the gravel is nice because you come over to the sieve and we got that. Oh, nothing popped out. What in the world? This is acting weird. Hmm. Okay, now we do. We got coal, we got flint. What else do we got? Do you want me just to do gravel for now? Uh, let's see. Dust is our greatest chance right now for bone meal until we get oh, okay. You're right. something else up. Dust is just fine. Gravel's good. Sand's good. So we'll need some redstone here in a little bit. So. True, true. So you can only, using that sieve, you can only get redstone from dust and... You can only get diamonds from gravel, and you can only get something called ancient spores from sand. So it really just depends on which one of these you use that helps with that process. And then later on we can do stuff like soul sand that'll help get us some quartz and other stuff. Hopefully though by then we're not doing it manually like this. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say this in the last episode, but one of the great things about modern Minecraft is the automation you automate oh yes everything you do everything everything you're doing you're doing to make what you're doing <laughs> automatically make yep so that you can make something else to make what you're making to make something with what you're making automatically <laughs> it's just a wonderful system okay. you uh gotten one of these no not yet, yet? So, compressed crook. What's the point of the compressed crook? The compressed crook is just like holding four crooks all at once. Um, it, it has a greater durability, which means you can harvest more leaves on it at once, um, get more hits on it before it breaks. And that's really the, the only you know thing, is you're not having to, to swap out as, as often, because they sure. don't break as often. Good space saver. They are. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So we need to make sure that we keep up with the cobblestone. So get the dirt going. There we go. So you are, if you had to pick your favorite part of the mod of Minecraft, what part do you find yourself diving into personally the most? Uh, not magic. Not um, magic? Yeah, not magic. I, I really, you know, I'm kind of the exploratory of all you can do with the machines. Um, okay. cause, I mean, as much as I've played, um, like there's still so many machines I haven't even gotten to yet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you get to where you make um, energy systems out of, you know, trees um, to where like you'll, you'll create a system which will plant and harvest the trees and out of the saplings and out of the apples will create biofuel and that'll create energy. And once you get to your ME systems all uh, set up, your ME storage, you can actually get those things to program recipes. So all you have to do is push one button and it'll craft complex recipes. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that automation I love process. Just... I love that as well. Yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. Now you take it a step further than I do. I get the automation going and then start to end up doing it by hand. So I kind of fall behind in that automation. You know a lot of little tricks to do that. So I'm excited to see some of those things put into action. <laughs> Tricks, hacks, yeah. Oh no. What? Got stuck in a tree. Oh. Yeah, I had I've had the privilege to, to like really play with some people who who know a whole lot about modded Minecraft, and so it's like I learned a lot just from 
other people who've been doing this for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, oh, big tree. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. I didn't use a crook on it. Uh, <laughs> so while we're uh, grinding a little bit, um, share with my guys a little bit about some of the stuff that you, well, maybe I, let's cut back for a second. You, the one thing that I got introduced to you the first time that I was really excited to a meet with you. And the reason I, you were one of the first people I asked with the sky factory idea. Um, tell me a little bit about the stuff you do with your son as far as Minecraft. Yeah. Um, it, my, my son and I actually, uh, you know, he and I've been playing Minecraft together since he was about three years old. Um, in fact, when I first started making YouTube videos, um, it was so I could record um, safe, you know, viewer friendly, family friendly videos of our adventures together. Because mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know if you watch YouTube, you never know uh, what you're going to get. Um, and my three year old loved it so much, he was always wanting to watch um, stuff. So I started doing YouTube just with our adventures together so he could have something. We would go on an adventure and, and he would watch it. And the other thing, um, we potty trained uh, Sam using Minecraft. Um, it was the only reward that really stuck with him. Uh, we had tried, you know, candy, M&M's, mm -hmm. Skittles, and nothing worked. But when you told that kid, if you go pee pee in the potty, um, you can play Minecraft for 10 <laughs> minutes. He would, you know, go pee in the potty, play for 10 minutes, and then go back and try to pee again. And <laughs> um, it's, it's really the, the one thing that stuck with him. Nice. So Much cheaper strong than, reinforcer. Cheaper than going and buying more and more M and M's. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and we still like we're uh, his birthday's coming up, and his one thing he wanted to do for his birthday was record <laughs> uh, record some episodes. So that's awesome. We're gonna do a, a birthday world together. Nice. I love that idea. Uh, and this was new to me. I was. Sean is a mutual friend of ours and he's the one that introduced me to the idea of doing Minecraft with your children because honestly video games in my house are something that was new and it's not that they were bad but go outside and play with your brother kind of a thing and so yeah. and then my wife is not a competitive person she's not into video games whatsoever and so for her video games are just kind of, she would rather just talk to a person. And so her getting into video games just didn't click. And so that it was just something I did by myself. And so you introducing that to your son was a completely foreign thing for me. Now, when you say you introduced him, how old was your son when you started doing that with him? Uh, he started taking the Xbox controller out of my hand when I was about three, uh, when he was about three years old, um, and he's seven. Uh, he'll be seven here soon. Nice. Um, so I mean, he really he's been playing about as long as I've been playing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for me, the, still, the my son does uh, the app. We have an Android tablet. And he, so he loves to play his video games on there, much more child focused as far as video games mm -hmm. is, instead of Minecraft. So he likes playing those kind of games. But there's a lot of similarities, surprisingly. Oh yeah. Well, it's like I think Minecraft really kind of teaches you know planning and and thinking about things. I mean, he would rather play in creative mode, and we have a rule. It's like when we play together, we play in survival mode. That way, mm -hmm. we're thinking about what do we want to build? How much stuff are we going to need to build what we're doing? Sure. Um, and it's just a, it's, it's fun to plan and talk through those things and, and I don't know, we just kind of get lost in our little adventures sometimes. <laughs> now, when you play with them, do you only play on the Xbox? Uh, at the moment. Um, but don't tell him we're getting him his own account uh minecraft account here for his his birthday nice um, so the uh, we'll probably play a little bit on the computer we don't have like two computers that'll really play it well sure um so i don't think he would you know ever get into modded minecraft with me but sure uh he'd certainly we might we might do a vanilla world together 
do you have the um x the what is it called the windows windows 10 windows 10 version uh we i have the xbox one version which i guess will be the windows 10 version well you you can i, I think you buy it for your computer mm -hmm. it's like a ten dollar version and then you can play yeah. with your xbox as well see that's cool has that been enabled has that been enabled yet or yeah. Was that... yeah okay my understanding is you can go ahead and do that i just i don't i started playing minecraft on my xbox and actually quit playing for a while just because i didn't want to buy another copy of it and then whenever it finally <laughs> did come out or when i finally did decide to pony up the money for it um i just couldn't go back to console gaming Kind of how I feel about vanilla Minecraft. I'll play it with with him. Right. After after experiencing modded Minecraft, it's yeah, it's well, good stuff. Just vein miner alone. Like I'm sitting there at the beginning of a new world and just sitting there punching it and punching it and punching it. It's like, oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> just the idea of getting those resources moving forward, and then like the idea of an iron farm is really cool on yeah. vanilla minecraft but you're only getting iron what do you do about the gold oh you got to go make another one for the gold oh geez i mean that's fun the first time but then making it again and again and again so like on a church bank server i've made all the community resources because i like the idea of people just using the resources to create something amazing with that so i'm not against the the stuff on vanilla but it just takes so long to do yeah. and it's so limiting oh, yeah. All right, more crooks. I'm going to show my guys how to do this. Let's see. Bump, 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 bump. And then bump, 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 bump. Do you need a new crook? Uh, I am good for now. Okay. Let's see. Boom. Man, that just destroys your health on a big tree like this. <laughs> yes, it does. Ugh. What, I can't remember what it was on the last version of this we did it I was vein mining something and I I think it was a tree vein mining a tree and I instantly went from full health and this was a huge tree down to you can't vein mine because you have no hunger or you have hunger with one vein mine <laughs> that's no good yeah that was a Dope. lot yep I got a rubber tree seed. Yes. Oh, the rubber tree seeds are good. Yes, sir. Ooh. What's purple? You put purple in here? In the barrel? I don't... Oh, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I'll turn it back. We'll get some more. Rain, where are where in the world? Where yeah. Rain, where are you? We For are in real. day six already. Still no rain. We need to fix this. Boom. All right. I wonder if it was the apple. Yep, it was the apple. Making sure I didn't waste any. All right, so we are at the end of the time. Should we check the achievement book again? Oh, I still got it on me. You want to do it this time? All right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Give me that achievement book. Let's see what we've done. All right. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. You might need to do it because uh, I think it's user specific. Oh, until we get the achievement table. Yeah, I I think so. Yeah, because okay. nothing was was checked off. Okay, so infect leaves with a silkworm, check. Use a crook on infested leaves to get string, check. Um, craft a sieve, check. We have to skip the rainwater because stupid rain. Craft. It's not rained. Yeah, craft cobblestone from a small stones, then drop that drop from sifting dirt, mm -hmm. check. Craft a hammer to turn cobblestone into gravel, sand, and dust. I did all three of those. I have not sifted see, sifted sand yet, so I'm not going to do that one just yet. 
<laughs> so I'll wait on that one, but that'll be a super easy one. Um, Deja vu. Yeah. So we do need to make some Tinker Construct tools from bone or flint. And we need to make clay by putting dust into water, filled barrel, and craft a crook. Craft and cook a crucible. And then heat a crucible with a torch and insert stone to make lava. Ooh. Yes, so those are our next objectives before we get too much further. The thing is, we need that rain. We need that rain. We're kind of at yeah. that that place where we can we can gr sure grind away. Yep. There's not much we can do if it doesn't rain. Yep. So I think we'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye see ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>get the the loading loading lag out of the way yes so i'm going to explain a little bit of uh sky factory to some of my viewers because they've only seen 